Hey, fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Thank you so much for tuning in for this weekly message. Please take whatever resonates and leave whatever don't. Everything may not resonate with everyone because this is a weekly message, not a personal. Um, this is a general message, not a personal. So yeah, don't take anything personal. If it's just not your message, then it's just not your message, okay? Um... Look into my About Me section for more information on what I do, how I do it. Um, I am a psychic medium. I'm going to just leave it as that. I just don't feel like getting to the spell. But you can definitely look into my About Me section. Also past videos that I've done. And I mentioned it there. Uh, and also all, all other information is listed in the description of this video on how to book a personal with me. Um... And also my psychic site that I am a part of as well. Uh, and what else? Yeah. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. You can look into reviews and all, all that good stuff. All right. Definitely want to check me out. Um, yeah. I have quite a bit of information out there where you can look at. It go years back. Years back. So you can get your proof. Um, due to what I'm able to do, okay? All right, let's get into it. Starting with Aries, Aries, spirit, Aries. Ooh, someone is a narc, someone is a narcissist. It's coming up real heavy. Um, and I hate, I, I kind of like dislike that word. I feel like people use it too fluently. Like, oh, they're a narc. <laughs> but uh, it's more narcs in this world than you think, though. But they just mentioned nar narcissists. So, I don't know. Someone could be a narcissist that you're dealing with. Someone in your energy could be, like, uh, like very controlling. I feel like that came up in your energy before. If not a, the weekend, it could have been last week message. I don't know. But it sounds very familiar unless the zodiac sign that you're dealing with could, um, maybe it came up in their message. But I'm also getting Gemini and I'm also getting Taurus. And I'm, and, mm, I don't know. What, what is it? Boris, 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 I don't know, something like that. Maybe that's your last name or someone's last name in your energy. Someone could be trying to come in between you and someone. Someone is definitely heavily, heavily spying on you. Or this could be someone that, I don't know, it could be a third, it's a third party, you guys. It's coming through. The third party could be someone of the person that you're dealing with, ex, or this could be your ex. This could be, listen, an ex of an ex. I don't know, and I don't care. I'm just here to give you the message. <laughs> but, um, what else, Barry? Mm. Someone's going to have to be really strong and set boundaries here. Yeah, set major boundaries with someone. Because I feel like someone is trying to dictate someone's move, how you move, how you do things, how you go about things. I'm also hearing boss. Someone could be a boss or this could be like um, someone who ha who have um, maybe a higher role than you do. Like maybe, maybe this is a company that you work for. I don't know. You tell me. But... Um, it could be some type of um, boss or someone in the leadership role and trying to dictate how you maneuver. And it's like it's holding you back. Someone in your energy, this could definitely be a lover. This could be a family member. This could be a boss, okay? This could be uh, someone in your energy is trying to dictate your life, trying to um, control you unless you're the one that's trying to do the controlling. Show us a message for someone needs to let go. I said I said air sign earlier, or I said Gemini, and they just said air sign. Let go of the air sign. So, and wow, that those cards are actually in this deck. Now that I think about it, I wouldn't be surprised if it come out. But th they said it, so it came out anyway. Um, what else? I'm also um that's I, I it was a a reading title. 
I'll be gone to November. I'll be gone to November. Uh, you remember that song? That song is coming up right now. So maybe someone, ooh, that's that narc vibe. Maybe someone go, they out and in. They disappear and come back. Like something like that. That's the narcissist energy. Um, someone could be inconsistent. Someone could be um, non-commutative. Like, commutative. <laughs> someone may, um, like, be in and out with their communication or something. Um, it's a cycle closing for a new cycle to begin, but you must set boundaries with someone. You must stand your ground so this next cycle can begin because or else this person is going to dictate and try to rule and control your every move. You're not going to be able to begin a new cycle. So you're going to have to shut something down. It's like spirit doing their work, helping you. Your guys are helping you, but at the same time, you need to do some, you need to make, make a move too. You can't always count on them to do every single thing we are put here to do certain things too so you're gonna have to wake up and realize look okay I, enough is enough i can't just keep praying about it i need i need to put action towards it so whatever you gotta do do it dang who is this for show us a message for aries all that was just channeled so i'm trying to get into the cards Someone could be on the cuffs of Taurus Gemini. Someone also could be on the cuffs of Aries Taurus. I'm getting cuffs. Yeah, someone is really trying to control someone's every move. Someone is also spying on you. Someone could be trying to uh, like figure out your every move. Someone is trying to... Mm, Someone, it's like if, if, if this person don't have control over you, they're going to harm you or they that's what they want to do. Or this is an Aries. Take it however it resonates. Wow, spy. Thank you, spirit. Show us um, a message with the card, spirit. Let it come out. Wow, narcissist. Thank you, spirit. Ooh, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, show us a message for Aries. Aries. You got Mercury retrograde, electronic issues, communication issues. Yeah, you may need to review everything. Maybe you need to review like your past. Uh, like something is going on here. I feel like someone is trying to uh, control your your communication with others. It's like someone is trying to keep you in this box or keep you closed in or something. Keep you stuck. Uh, or this is. Mm -hmm. This could be someone that's trying to do this to someone in your energy. Take it however it resonates. Um, show us more on this energy. Something about a car could be significant. Communicate. Yeah. Compromise. Forgive. Work. Okay. So you may need to communicate with someone. Someone needs to forgive you due to communi lack of communication. Because um, it definitely looks like communication issues. And this could, yeah, it's challenging. Someone needs to make a decision and work on inner healing. Someone could be a water sign or someone could... Um, be dealing with a water sign that could be a water i mean that could be a cancer a scorpio or a pisces it's challenging to go towards a water sign someone could be having some health issues or health issues could arise someone could be dealing with a gold digger someone who just always got the handout need money 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 someone is being used Someone, someone needs to move on from someone because it's like someone could be like, yeah, I'll be back, but they're not, be, they're not coming back. Or every time they come back, it's the same old, same old. Yeah, someone needs to move on. They're saying someone is unavailable, a waste of time. It is over. It's like no, but I'm gonna give it time. No, someone is, someone needs to let go. Someone could be trying to get pregnant, or someone could be trying to pregnant. Someone could be doing a love spell on you. We got a love spell, pregnancy. Air sign, someone could be a, like I did say, air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. So, um, strongly Gemini because they told me Gemini. And then also t t Taurus. So, like I said, someone could definitely be on a cusp. Someone name could start with an S. Okay. Show us more for uh, Aries. 
narcissist came out. Remember when I was talking, I mentioned it earlier because they mentioned it. And then the, it showed it in the cards and I showed y'all. And I just shuffled again and it just came out. So yeah, someone is definitely a narcissist. My spirit guides don't lie to me. That's why personal readings be on point because I listen. I listen to what they're telling me. I'm not giving you no foolery, no no baloney, however you want to call it. But I'm just I'm just saying like whatever I'm told, I speak it, you know? And that's how it works. So, um yeah, someone is is too full of themselves. Someone feel like they have they dictate your life. Like the, you you have no control. You have no say so on your life, but they do. What? <laughs> where, where they do that? You could be dealing with a fire sign, a Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. They could definitely have these placements, or this is you. Show us more. Someone may have a pet, or they thinking about getting a new pet, or someone could be giving a current pet more love. I feel like you're the pet. I'm sorry, Aries. If you the one, if you the pet, man, they, they, they. They controlling the heck out of you. They like sit. All right, come eat. Go eat. <laughs> like what the heck? Like what? I know you like. Nah, ain't nobody got control. Listen, someone doing something because you got love spell here. Someone could be trying to do a love spell on you or half, you know, to try to force you to be with them. We also had a uh, someone could have even took a trip with someone. You will be traveling soon also. Someone is definitely doing a love spell on someone. This air sign keeps showing. Tell me you're not. you dealing with an air sign. Whoever this message for this week. God darn. This air sign just keep coming up. First it came up. Clara audiently. Spirit mentioned it to me. And then it came up in the cards like several times. So yeah. Air sign could be trying to get pregnant. Someone could be pregnant at this current time Aries. Yeah, someone, you could have took a, a vacation with this person. If someone is under a love spell or under some type of spell, magic, hopefully this wake you up. Because, you know, when you're under a spell, it's like you get, they, that's how they have that control. But if you, uh, you know, snap out of it by, like, say for instance, certain things is hitting for you in this message, pay attention. Pay attention to the person. Pay attention to what's going on. And everything is going to start coming together. You're going to realize, oh, dang. Dang. Yeah. Yeah. And that's your, your awakening. You're going to start waking up from this situation. And they're not going to be able to do another love spell on you or any spell on you ever again. Because you're going to be, uh, you're going to be awakened to it. It's just like being immune to it. Okay. You immune to it now because you already been through it. Right. So yeah, they're trying to wake someone up. Okay. It's like super, super major control here. Someone is trying to control you, trying to uh, have a say so on your life, your your actions, where your where you're going, your communication, all that. And this is why it's challenging here. It could be challenging for a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, due to the challenges next to this water sign. Maybe you're dealing with the wa water sign, or there's a water sign. Maybe someone had a um. Someone could have had, could have been dealing with the worst sign outside of a connection or something. Jeez. Ugh. Show us a message for Aries. <laughs> I swear these pickups always come in a reading. <laughs> Show us a message for Aries. Not all of them, at least one of them. Show us a message for Aries spirit. Oh my gosh, your reading is intense. I gotta bring out some other cards. Like, this is so much that they're giving to me, Claire Audiently, and then also Vision. Yeah, they're showing me a lot. Um, it's like you gotta run, duck, and hide from this person or something. Because it's like, they're, they're, it's like, damn, how you see me? How you know? <laughs> they watching you through a damn telescope. I don't know what you call them. Yeah, they, this person got you under surveillance. That's what it feel like. And this could be spiritually. They could be watching you. See? Mm -hmm. You better cover them mirrors. <laughs> you better... You better... You better do something. I don't know. But yeah, someone is definitely... Uh, 
It's like trying to break you down so you can't move. Justice will be served. Thank you. Oh, okay. Justice will be served for you. The truth. The justice. Your justice is the truth. The truth could be within this message. The truth could be within you just picking up on certain things. Like, wait a minute. But this is just your confirmation. Or if you didn't know nothing about it, but now it's making sense by you watching this, then hey. But that's your justice. For some of you, you're about to receive justice some way, somehow, outside of this message as well. Someone about to pay the, cons pay, pay the consequences for sure. Yeah, it's about to be a fair outcome because someone was definitely not being fair with you. Show us more on this energy for Aries. This could be, I, I'm getting a boss. Did I say that earlier? I can't remember, but I'm getting a boss. Like someone, maybe, well, they could be bossy. They could be trying to con dictate, control your life. But also this could be like a boss or someone in a leadership role th that's around you. Maybe you looked up to this person once upon a time, but now you're like, dang. Like they could, they could definitely be trying to control your moves, how you go about things or whatever. Like what the heck? It's time for you to go. Get up out of there. Wherever it is, whoever this is, this could be a spouse, this could be a partner, however, this could be a family member, this could definitely be a boss of a company like that you work for. So just open your eyes, open your eyes because it's like someone is in limbo here. Someone don't know how to move forward because you're stuck. Why? Because they're doing, but then we got love spells. So this could definitely be someone that you're associated with. <laughs> this is crazy. Aries, what the heck? It's like someone needs to recenter themselves. They need to, um, show us more. Someone could be missing someone, rejecting offers. Show us more. Four of cups. Four, is, four of cups. Yeah, it's like someone is missing someone or trying to manifest someone. Show us more on this energy. This could be anyone. It don't have to be like a lover or something. But it's it's like it's 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 competition to have this person. It's like what? Or it's competition to have you. Like, say for instance, you want to move out of a situation, but it's like someone is someone have complete control over you. I don't know. Some someone could be holding something over your head. Let's get deeper, cause y'all reading definitely need more. This is a bit much. I'm not even gonna leave y'all like that. I'm a, I'm gonna definitely see more in the um, extended messages, but I don't know, y'all. This is just a bit much. I want to help you as much as possible. Show us a message for Aries. There could be some type of conflict, rivalry. Um, yeah, some clashing going on due to ego. Show us a message for Aries. It's making me... Mm. Show us a message for Aries. This could be someone's mother or a baby mother. Mm. Someone could have some illnesses due to doing death spells. So if you've been having like... Maybe you had a, uh, uh, maybe a near death experience type thing. This is why, like someone trying to take you out. Why? I don't know. Cause someone is dead inside. So someone could be like, they lost their soul. That's why they're so evil. They could be hiding that they're sniffing coke as well. Some of you, if this is your own mother, that's real messed up. But, you know, it happens like that sometimes. Yeah, this person is spying on your every move. You could go to the store. They watch, they seeing you. How are they seeing you? I don't know. They got a tracking device on you or something. A tracking device on you. Someone could have a sex addiction. Yeah, 
dying spiritually. That's what I said with dead inside. Like they 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 done lost their soul. They they lost their soul doing like stuff like this. A grandmother is helping you. So a grandmother could have could have passed over. And this grandmother is helping you. This could be the grandmother of the mother. Like not nah, they they disowning this mother, whoever this mother is or baby mother is. Confirmation. Someone married for money. Ooh, and money just came in. <laughs> and that's crazy. Mary for money just came out and my phone just made this. Oh my gosh. That's that's a confirmation on top of confirmation. Lord. Yeah, that's messed that's messed up. So someone could have married for money. There's um someone that's doing black magic and spell work. Someone could uh, whoever someone also could be like, uh Oh, yeah, and the Bible said, or God this and God, like someone could pray, like always talking about God or whatever. But this person is really evil. It's like evil. Like this person could, you know, like they go to church or go to church. I got to go to church, 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 church. <laughs> Whoever this is, I promise you, this is the person. Like someone could be evil here, but they're hiding it. They're hiding who they really are. They do sex spells on men dang or women so listen if you the man in this situation aries you got it's some y'all gotta be careful okay because there's some sick people out here it's some evil people out here men and women okay so be careful final destination at the bottom of the deck something about a sister something about a house as well Someone could have did death spells on their parents so they could obtain a house. That's crazy. Y'all, I'm channeling some crazy stuff, but a lot of crazy stuff came out in the cars too. So I don't even know what to call this other than crazy. Like, you get out. That's what you get out. This made me think of Get Out, the movie. Yes, get out. Get out. Get out. Someone could have cut their hair or thinking about cutting their hair. Someone is a false friend. It could be a neighbor. Like, yeah, it's just too much. Like, I don't know. You're around too too many. Mm -hmm. So, I feel like whoever this person is that's doing this to you, this definitely I'm getting like a lover or an ex-lover, okay? Someone can't let go and they're doing magic on you. Someone doing magic on you, or this is an ex-lover doing magic on them, or it's something, okay? You figure out your story. If you've been thinking like, man, I knew she was doing magic on him, yeah, it more than likely is that. Or, oh, man, I knew he was doing magic on me, well, yeah. Or, dang, I knew she was doing magic on me, yeah, mm-hmm, ding, 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 okay, that's your light bulb. That's your light bulb. Some of you need to sell a house. You need to get out of a house. Like, I don't know. You share a house with this person. It's time for you to go. It's time for you to go. It's time for you to go. Yeah, some, something about selling a house. Maybe someone is in real estate. Maybe someone um, do real estate or something. But someone needs to get out. Wow. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. Y'all can man, I just love it though. I love my gift. I love it. But it's just amazing and it also is scary too. <laughs> not not scary, but I just be like, wow. But yeah, so with the the so the house and I've been this way ever since I was born. Like this is this is crazy. Like it it never like it's sometimes it's shocking. But most of the time, I would say it's not. But it's just shocking how the cars come out. They like confirmation. Someone is someone is into real estate. Someone needs to move. Someone needs to sell a home. Something about someone could have got married due to a living arrangement. Someone could have got married due to finances, like it said, married for money. Someone did something like yeah. But it's like it's you. It's like someone married the devil. Yeah, we got legal court paperwork filed. Someone need to file some paperwork, get get this uh, mm, finalized. Boy, I tell you, this is crazy. Someone definitely needs to move. Get out, get out. Ooh wee, it could be someone whole family. <laughs> Dang, y'all. Aries, who you dealing with? 
damn warlock or a darn evil witch one or the other because this is this is beyond crazy they trying to talk to some they telling y'all okay if this not your message it's just not your message at this time you know for some of you hopefully this not your message in the future but if so at least you would be a step ahead but for some of you it's just not your message and it's okay it's totally fine but this is definitely someone's message. Many messages. Many, I mean, many of you, this may resonate with. But um, I'm going to close it out for now because that's a bit much. You got a lot of information channel and through the cards. So just take whatever resonates. Hopefully this help you with the decision making. Hopefully this help you in your journey so you can get out of a situation. Because all it's doing is hindering you. It's stopping you from progressing. It's stopping you. Also, it's like this energy, this person who's sending this energy towards you, that's messed up if you if you sleep with this person. If you sleep it next to the devil, oh, Lord. But um, still, get out. Shoot. You better get out. Mm -mm -mm. All right. And don't look back. Like, go. Run. Run as fast as you can. Yes, thank you, Spare. Move on. Because someone is evil. Alright? Get out. Made me want to watch that movie. Alright, moving on. Jeez. See, y'all not about to do... Y'all doing me like y'all did last week. That's probably why y'all got the most views. Because <laughs> y'all y'all getting spoiled. Alright. <sighs> I'm going to pause so I can get my energy ready for the next reading. Thank you so much, Aries, for tuning in this week. I appreciate you for just supporting me and just even just, just taking your time out to listen to the message. And if this is your message at all, anything resonate with you, definitely comment, okay? Even if you just want to comment your sign or comment, hey, you know, I will reply back to all comments, um, whatever it is. But... If this is at all your message, I hope you're taking it in and realizing what spirit is telling you and what they're guiding you. You need to get out. Get out of a situation. It's not healthy for you. You're going to be stuck. You're going to be stagnant. It's not going to be any progress. You're going to be wondering why you're sick, why you're feeling down, why you're feeling depressed, why you're feeling stuck. Yeah, it's that's why. Why you keep having... Uh, freak accidents or why you keep ha having illnesses that's all a part of dark magic okay i'm just telling you get out moving on hey leo thank you so much for tuning in with me this week thank y'all for the love and support the likes um also the shares thank you so much uh definitely share let's get this going back flowing again now that I'm back, let's get these views up so you also can stay in the top. Because um, right now, you're in the top, all right? I just started back last week. I did y'all weekly last, and y'all got the most views. may not be the highest that I'm, more, um, that I'm used to, but it is definitely great for my first week back, and I appreciate you. So definitely get the videos floating around so they um, can get more, you know, so you can also get more from me. Thank you. I appreciate it, Leo. Now, let's get into your message, Leo Spirit. Leo. 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 All right. Leo Spirit, let's see. Golly. Uh, Leo, okay, fire sign. You're the fire sign. You could be dealing with another fire sign with the fire sign coming out. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But the only thing here I'm not really feeling is the well, it depends. Maybe it's a good thing. But we have commitment in reverse. Like maybe you're coming out of a connection, releasing, or someone just not committed. Let's get one more. Or communicate, compromise, forgive, and work it out, they're saying. 
So someone needs to compromise with, with um, someone, forgive them, work things out. But then also we have let go, make room for the new beginning on its way to you now. So basically I'm getting like to close the cycle out, get everything out on the table, let this person know how you feel. Look, this is not going to work, you know, whatever the case, but it's time to close the cycle out. But they're saying to communicate, don't just walk away or don't just release this. They sent because when you do it that way, it always end up coming back or, you know, the what if like, okay, what if, no, just Clear it out. Have that conversation that you need. And then um, then let go. Someone may like butterflies. Someone may have a sun tattoo. Um, like a picture of a sun or something. Yeah, I feel like someone could have... Um, I feel like this is also not... For some of you, this may be... This may be temporary. I feel like this let go is not permanent i feel like it's just dang this sound familiar did this come out in y'all reading this sound familiar as heck but yeah i'm getting like um because we got let go and we got give it time everything in divine timing let things flow and then we got pregnancy for some of you this is about a pregnancy um you could be you could end up pregnant with this person or you might let go of this person and end up finding out that you're pregnant. And we got, they'll be back. Expect to hear from them soon. You got someone else. Someone is in the middle of some, of some, hold on, wait. Someone is in the middle. Someone is trying to sabotage this. So it could be a third party that's trying to sabotage your connection. That could be the non-committal energy that came through with the commitment in reverse. So uh, someone could have cheated, lied about it. Um... But it looked like that situation is going to move on. That's not going to be... Um, that's not going to continue. But let's get more on your energy. Show us more on the energy for Leo. Leo. Show us more on this um, fire sign spirit. Fire sign energy with... Show us more on a fire sign. Someone could be a, oh, Leo, the sun. You're the sun. That's funny. So someone could have a tattoo of a sun. Maybe you do. Or someone you're dealing with. Someone could be dealing with a Sagittarius. It's like someone, someone could be like, nope, I'm setting boundaries, but, but yet don't want to completely give up. But I just want this person to know that I'm not playing with them. So they're going to have to get right. But at the same time, I still have feelings for them. Yeah, someone could be grieving a loss. Five of Cups. Show us more on this. Communicate. I mean, not communicate. Okay, we're going to put communicate there. I meant to say commitment. Show us more on commitment. It could Y'all dealing with a Sagittarius? Or they could have Sagittarius placements. One or the other or... <laughs> You do, but um, someone could be an Aquarius as well. We also have Libra energy here, but it seems to me I don't know. Whoever this is, may maybe they felt rushed into a situation. They want to take their time. That's why they they weren't they weren't able to. Uh, commit to you maybe someone is wanting marriage and the other person like wait 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 you know um if it's not that it's like let's you know we doing everything like a relationship let's just go ahead and be together and the person you know they get they get um cold feet like i don't know it's just that commitment for this person um maybe the word commitment like oh shoot <laughs> i gotta run <laughs> i don't know but uh I don't, I'm not seeing, I just, I just feel like someone here needs to communicate. That's the main thing, but I feel like someone could be, uh, kind of closed off to communicate with the two of swords here. It's like blocking someone off, don't want to communicate, but that's why spirit is saying heal this with the star. And then also with this communicate, it says compromise, forgive, work it out. 
So it's like work it out. Not to say, oh, yo, you have to be together. You know, it's just to work it out so you don't have to be enemies. So you don't have to be beefed out. So you can just, you know, you move on and this person move on with their life. Boom. Okay. You end up being in a new relationship. They end up, you know, just no problems. And that could be what it is. Like they're just, they're just trying to um, guide you into healing connections before you just release them. Um Sometimes it's meant, it's needed to just cut someone off completely without any communication. But in this message, whoever this message is for, that is not the case. They're telling you to communicate. They're telling you to uh, find a balance with this person, find peace and harmony with this with this connection. Um, like I said, it may not be to come back together. For some, it is. It's just meant for you to take a break or a temporary, um, yeah, a temporary break or something. Um, let's get more. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, two of cups, king of cups, two of cups. Okay. It could be a water sign masculine or they could be a feminine. Um, but someone definitely could be dealing with a fire sign or someone is thinking about leaving a fire sign out in the cold. Someone is wanting to reconnect with, with the water sign or if it's not so much of a water sign. It's like someone is wanting to reconnect with someone who is um, very compassionate, loving, someone who um, who's kind. That's a, the king of cups. But also they about their business too because they're a king. So um, they could just be very mature emotionally. Maybe this is someone that you want to uh, come back together with or this is someone that want to come back together with you and they view you in that energy of someone that's emotionally mature. Um Someone could be realizing, like, man, I chose the person that that look what look good to me, but yet they caused me so much problems or <laughs> something like that. Show us more on the Star and the Two of Swords for Leo. Look like y'all really going to be quick. You got the Queen of Cups. Yeah, I feel like they're wanting you to show more compassion um, and not be so closed off. Yeah, because you're definitely like in a stalemate situation right now. You're like, nah, I'm good. I don't want to talk to you. And you could be having a difficult time with accepting like, okay, I do need to communicate. It's like, eh, I don't want to. But maybe, you know, give it, give it a little time. Give it time and then open up for communication just to heal things, you know. But they're telling you to be more supportive and compassionate about this situation. So you can look at things in a different light. So you can heal. Heal not only this situation with this person, but also so you can heal. You know, so maybe this person, whatever their reasoning behind what they did, why they cheated, why they weren't consistent with you, whatever the case, whatever their reason is, they're telling you to be more compassionate, more open to what they're saying, what they're, what they're, um, trying to express let's get more on the temperance temperance for leo uh why is the temperance here show us more the sun in reverse wow someone is just not seeing things clearly it's like someone is stubborn here it's like i don't want to see i don't care <laughs> I'm blocking you and I don't care what the universe say, what my spirit guys. And even I just had a dream. Like this, you could have just had a dream and spirit showed you, you and this person coming together. Y'all talking about everything and, you know, you end up shaking hands at the end. You go your way, they go their way. You know, you could have a dream like that. You wake up like, I don't care. I don't want to talk. <laughs> spirit like, listen, here yeah, nah. Okay, you're just going to make yourself miserable. We're trying to bring peace and harmony to your life. Peace and harmony to this connection. You know, it don't necessarily, like I said, it don't necessarily have to come back together. If you don't want this person, you would have made it up in your mind, then that's fine. But bring peace to your heart so you can heal. Okay? But I just feel like, yeah, someone is not... Mm -hmm. Possibly because you may, you may feel like this person made you look bad. Like, they exposed, like, something was exposed, and it's like, dang, you know? 
So that could have been the case. Like you, maybe you feel like this person made you look bad to others. Just what they did is just you like it's a huge no. But I feel like um, your guys are trying to talk to you. They're trying to talk to you, but it's it's a lot of stubborn energy here. You are a fixed sign, Leo. So I mean, I get that, but this is like no. <laughs> It's like you're getting all the signs to make things right, even though this person is in the wrong. But it, you're getting all the signs to make things right or to communicate, find a balance. But you're just ignoring them. Like, I don't care. I'm not. Nope, I'm not. <laughs> you bypassing all of this. So you got the tower. The tower at the bottom of the deck. That just means, hey, Spirit going to have to bring this tower in to uh, shake some things up. So... There could be some communication, you know. Maybe something's happened where you have to communicate with this person. That's that tower energy. I don't know. But I feel like something was built on a false foundation anyway. Like someone could have gotten in a relationship telling you what, they, what you want to hear. But really deep down, they didn't want a commitment. So that's why they did what they did. Like Because they weren't really ready. And it's making you feel bad and you're hurt by it because it's just like, dang, you could have just told me that. But this person possibly didn't want to tell you because at the same time, they didn't want to lose you. Which is selfish, but I mean, yeah, something is about to happen fast. Some of you, it could be a Virgo you're dealing with. Yeah, someone, someone is returning. Eight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, someone is returning. Whoever this is, they're returning. Okay? This is not over. This is not over. And I feel like, to be honest, in this message, there's love here. So, if you're the feminine, you could definitely have love for this person. I mean, it's, it's love here on both sides. I've seen the king and the queen of cups. You know, even though you're a fire sign, you both were once upon a time at least seeing eye to eye emotionally but at the same time just because you see eye to eye emotionally this person love you that you love them they may not been on the same page due to what they want out of a relationship or if they want a relationship whatever this is or want a marriage so that's why they're saying look put everything on the table have a sit down with this person and uh talk maturely you don't have to yell shout you know you can actually talk to this person and if they don't know how to talk or communicate with you then find another time it's gonna it's gonna come together because um it's being pushed together to clear the air maybe it's some things that you're unaware of i did see the moon yep the moon so it could be some things and then the sun in reverse it's some things that you're unclear of and that's why they like let's bring a balance okay bring some balance by coming together and discussing you like dang i didn't know you, that happened or I didn't know you felt that way so it's it's it'll be a better understanding due to this situation you know no I don't condone cheating but at the same time like what caused this person to do this what happened so it could be a situation that you just need to really um be more open to um not not necessarily you know all right let's be back together you know they just want you to communicate Someone needs to communicate. All right. We're going to move on to Sagittarius. Hey, uh, Sagittarius. Let's get a message for you. Spirit, please show us a message for Sag Sagittarius. 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 Someone could be gossiping about you or you're gossiping. I think it has a, it's definitely some gossip going on. A lot of talking. Sh 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 I'm getting like she said. <laughs> oh, this reminds me. Okay. Um, uh, 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 Missy Elliott. Is it? <laughs> I can't remember, but I kind of like got the melody here. But um, that could be a mess. That is a message because that goes into the the um gossip. Oh, it's called gossip. Mhm. Mm By Missy Elliott. I think it's called gossip. But anyways, let's get into this message. 
Spirit, please show us a message for Sagittarius. Yeah, when they don't know, they, they gossip. Instead of getting facts, they gossip. All right, you got a narcissist here. Show us more on this energy. Someone definitely could be a narc. Someone could be moving or trying to move away from this mark. Nar <laughs> Someone name could be Mark because that wanted to come out. But someone could be moving away from this narc. Whether your name is Mark, this person name is Mark. But someone is moving. Change of residence. Someone could be moving in with their partner and releasing this narc. I hope you're not moving in with a narcissist. That would be messed up. No, because it looks like you're you're um, manifesting a move with your partner. They're telling you to communicate. We got pregnancy. Yeah, someone could get pregnant. Someone is a gold digger. Hopefully you're not getting someone pregnant that's a gold digger. They're telling you to give it time. It could be a fire sign. This person could have health issues. Or you're the fire sign and you could have health issues because of another fire sign. Something like that. Mm -hmm. There's a sexual chemistry between you and someone, but there's there's challenges here. Someone else is in the middle. Someone is trying to sabotage this. Oh, no, Sag. Let's get into it. Show us more on this energy for Sagittarius. So the gossip could be like mm -mm, either the, the narc or the person that you're dealing with. Maybe it's a separation or something. They gossiping about y'all connection, blah, 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 blah. Maybe telling lies and everything. Or you doing this. Take it however it resonates. But let's get more on this energy for Sagittarius. Let's see more for this narc. Narcissist, please show us more on a narcissist. Narcissist, show us more on this energy. Dang, too much. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Like someone could have been gossiping, but someone could be intuitive and and know, know what you done said. You know what they done said. Something like that. Show us a message on this narcissist. Or you, if you don't know exactly, you have an idea. But if you're psychic like me, I boy, they show me faces. Okay, <laughs> boy. Boy. All right. We got the narcissist with the king of wands. Sagittarius, don't tell me this is you. But for some of you, this is a masculine male energy. They could be in this, um, they could be, they could have a, a strong ego. Mm. Yeah, this person could be... Uh, could have a strong ego here for sure they're narcissists it says that, yeah someone is too full of themselves mm -hmm. so this person could feel like well i'm a boss i you know i got this or i got that like so <laughs> like what the heck? someone could be trying to control you show us more on moving yeah you just gotta um Balance out your money for this move, for this home. Or maybe you're trying to balance things out due to your home. Maybe you moved into a new home. Someone may feel like you too full of yourself or you feel like this about this person. Show us more on a, on a uh, communicate. They're saying, no, nope, just move away. Okay, this could be someone someone is married to. I feel like this person come in with their sweet nothings, okay? try to tell you this could be a male or a female y'all come in and try to tell you but baby i love you i want you i want to commit to you they're telling you to move on six of swords to peace and common waters i don't know let's get more you could be dealing with the taurus show us more on this six of swords for sagittarius five of cups two of cups it's back and forth energy whoever this is this is someone you done dealt with on and off okay this could be someone you're married to. Someone could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I don't know. But some of you, it's a fire sign. It's a fire sign. They're showing. I said, who is the narc? They said, King of Wands. <laughs> so it could be a fire sign. If it's not you, it could be another fire sign that you're dealing with, that's in your energy, trying to dictate your life or whatever. Or 
this person can have fire sign placements. They could just be in this energy of the King of Wands as well. So take it how you would know who the narc is and don't look at it like, oh, they sun sign, not a fire sign. So it can't be that person, but they sure do act like a narcissist. What is that person? Trust you, me. It don't have nothing to do with that. It's the energy. So it could be the energy this person is displaying in this reading. Not so much of the signs, but I just throw the signs out because I know some of y'all like to hear the signs. They're under judgment, though. Whoever this is is under judgment. Show us more. Yeah, someone is under judgment due to something that they did. They thought they can get away with trying to... So someone could have been trying to take, take from you. Or like... We did get gold digger vibes. Like someone could have been a gold digger for sure. Someone could have wanted to get pregnant just so they can have your money. So be mindful of that. Or someone could have, a masculine could have been trying to get a female pregnant so they can have financial wealth. We have depth at the bottom of the deck and a um, queen of pentacles, four of pentacles. Someone could be trying to stop someone's money flow. So they would need, need them. Yeah, the tower with the ace of swords some truth that that exposure something is coming to light here there's an awakening due to something something was wrong so someone gained some truth or will be gaining truth and this is going to cause someone to um retreat from someone not want like this person don't want to deal with them no i don't want your offer i don't want your cup i don't want to take the the the, the met, whatever you got for me i don't want it because i know what you did with the ace of swords confirmation Yeah, also confirmation. The sun is, is um, right behind it. So, yeah, it's like someone got clarity here. When someone got clarity that someone could have also been trying to have a child with someone. Like with, with you or you with them. Someone definitely could be dealing with a heavy Sagittarius or Aries. But there's definitely heartbreak here due to someone's plan. It's like you finding out the truth. Like, damn, you only wanted me because of my money. Or because you wanted a child or something. But it was just, it was false. That's why the tower had to come through. It was false. It was built on a false foundation. It was not, it wasn't real. So someone want a new offer or want to give an offer to this Queen of Cups. Or... You could be actually in the Queen of Cups energy, very kind, loving, compassionate, supportive. Um, yeah, this is someone's wish fulfillment. You are or this or someone is wishing for this Queen of Cups energy. But there's heartbreak here. It's due to a third party. Like someone need to heal before they it's like someone trying to move on to someone else, but they need to heal. Or you do. Someone need to heal out of this situation. But yeah, it definitely it's time to leave, move on from this narc. It's time to move away from this person. They ain't it. Mm -mm. They not it. That's not the person for you. Okay? They only married you for money or they wanted a relationship with you because they seen some type of stability within you. Or this is you. Okay? If you did, no. They tell another person, move on. <laughs> Listen, but I'm here for you, Sagittarius. All cross washers would take it how it resonate. But I'm going to leave it there. Someone needs to move on from this art. It's all bad business. It's just all wrong. Like, you got narcissists, gold digger. Like, what? You got health issues. Like, no, this person got to go. Is Someone just wanted sex. We got sexual chemistry, reminiscing, challenges. Yeah, that's a challenge. This person could have been dealing with someone else. We got someone else in the middle. Okay. Someone could definitely be dealing with the earth sign. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Someone could be on the cuffs. Um, I feel like just anybody right now. You got open your heart to an air sign, but they're saying they're a liar. We got liar. 
Open your heart. Use your intuition there, liar. <laughs> Dang. You got open your heart, air sign. So that's Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Use your intuition, okay? Red flags are showing. They're a liar. Divorce this person. For some of you, you are in a marriage. You need to divorce this person. Yeah. Someone could be spying. This person could be spying on you. They are nar nar narcissists are very controlling. So just, you know, be wise about your, your movement, your 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 change in, in, in location or home. Hmm. Or this person is just if you not moving home, it says change in residence. This person could be trying to come move with you. You better say no. <laughs> Thank you. You better say no. All right, Sagittarius. I don't know. Someone got to go. Mm -mm. I don't like them for you. Mm -mm. Nope. All right, you guys. I hope you um, received some clarity from this message. If this was at all your message, um, definitely like the video, comment, you know, what part resonated with you, or just comment. Hey, I speak back. Um, just will show your love and support, you know. You know how it goes, so we can keep this going so I can stay with y'all, give y'all more readings. Um, also, I'm getting trying to get back in the flow of things with Monday, I mean with Q&As, but they're going to be on Mondays. Um, I actually did one today. I'm going to be back on next Monday. Uh, so definitely share the videos and everything so we can get it back rolling in the algorithm. And uh, I'll give more of my time to you all. But until, you can definitely follow me on Patreon for any daily messages um for weekly messages monthly messages um and so much over there that i do, do uh, also i do q and a's over there too um it's more private but you can tune in over there as well you guys but until next time i wish you all many blessings